Welcome to WUB Network's presentation of the NASCAR Progressive Cup Series. I'm Eddie Kalegi, joined by Trip McGinnis in the booth and Kirk Landry on pit road. We're from Daytona for the Microsoft Dual Qualifier for the Daytona 500. Let's look at your drivers to watch for in today's event. Eric Jones here in the pole for the Daytona 500 as a rookie. Another guy, Chase Elliott, he's got a very fast car. Now your go-or-go homers who may not qualify for the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte, former race winner and NASCAR champion. Rookie Ryan Ellis and Josh Wise driving the 59 for Levine Family Racing. Now it's time for your starting lineup brought to you by Powerade. In row one, it is Eric Jones and Denny Hamlin. Row two, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott. Row three, Kevin Harvick, Jamie McMurray. To watch the rest of them scroll by, Trip McGinnis, what do you think is going to happen in this event? This is a big race. Six laps, trying to get yourself a good starting position for the Daytona 500. Most importantly, do not wreck. That's the most important thing. Don't wreck your car. You'll be starting in the back and have a big hole against you in the Daytona 500. So now your race facts is this is the first of two six-lap qualifiers for the Daytona 500. Pace car rolls off. Yep, let's get ready. Here we go. Green flag. Let's go. Let's roll. Thanks, Trip. We are going. Eric Jones takes advantage as they go flying through one and two. On board with Eric Jones now as they come towards the back stretch. Down the back, Jones has the advantage. Jones and Bush are going to block high. Four wide in the back of the field. They get through. On board with Kyle Bush in second. Here they come into the trioval yeah, as lap two begins. We got an update from Kirk Landry. Well, EK, Eric Jones has picked up some debris on his grill. Crew Chief Chris Gale will hope that he can get that sucked off, or Jones may have to come to pit road. That would be big early for Eric Jones, and Kevin Harvick takes the lead, and now Eric Jones is coming down pit road. The 11 moves into second, and now Kyle Busch is passing the 11 for second, pushing Harvick to four laps to go. Eric Jones is on pit road. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to try to pull off the debris. No fuel, no tires. You want to do that so he doesn't overheat and lose his whole starting position for the Daytona 500. And now Trevor Bain is up to third place, pushing Harvick and Bush on the bottom. Truex got really loose, hangs on, as Harvick, Bush, single file, three laps to go. We're halfway through. Second pack performing behind them. That's Truex, Waltrip back there included. Outside line has fallen to fifth, led by Hamlin. On board with Bush again, pushing Kevin Harvick. The outside line gaining ground, two laps to go. The top three move to the middle. Now the Dillon Bros lead that bottom line. This is going to get good. They are three wide behind Harvick and Bush. Bush moves to the outside. Harvick blocks. Harvick comes back down. Ty Dillon is now up to second. Here they come, white flag. They are three by three behind the field. Now Bush, Hamlin, they're getting a huge run on the outside. Here they come, here they come. Harvick, Bush side by side through three and four. Here they come. They're crashing behind them. Five cars in the wall. Harvick wins the race. The Microsoft Dual Qualifier. McMurray's car destroyed in the wreck. Other guys, Casey Kane, David Reagan, Jamie Rockwell involved. We're going to have to see a replay. Yes, we look at this. Uh, they were just too close running back there. They held it together for 5.9 of the six laps. Your Nike Super Zoom. Yeah, it looks like the five came right down on Reagan. Wow, Bobby Labonte saved his chances at the 500 there. So as you watch the finishing order scroll by, Trip, what would you see? Well, we got some good runs there from the Gibbs drivers. Both the Dillon brothers showed that they're good. Some of these sophomores, Blaney and Elliott. It's going to be good. So now we look at your go-or-go homers. Bobby Labonte first. He's finished this race ninth, just barely escaped the big one. Yeah, and you know what? He's in a good position. He's going to make the 500 unless something very weird happens in the second dual qualifier. So we watched the rest of the field scroll by. A couple of those guys that were involved in the wreck. In 18th, Ryan Ellis. He's close to making the 500. It'll all depend on the next race. Eric Jones, 19th. 20th, Josh Wise. He'll need some help getting in. So for Trip McGinnis and Kirk Landry, I'm Eddie Kalegi. We'll see you for the next dual qualifier here on WUB Network's presentation of the Progressive Cup Series.